Essential Oils 101, which is basically like, I'm gonna try and cram in everything I know, all the basics about essential oils into like the shortest amount of time possible. So are you ready? Okay, let's go. So essential oils are um, made from the roots, the barks, the stems, the leaves of uh, plants, and they are distilled. And now if you watch this video, then you'll know how to check your oils are real or fake. But with doTERRA, they certify them beyond any other company. And they also have this beautiful co sourcing where they actually partner with the growers and the farmers, so everyone's well taken care of. Now, if you have peppermint oil, drop it in your hand. And if you don't, go right now in the link below and request your sample and I'll personally send it to you. But when you have it, rub it in your hands. Don't get it in your eyes, it's really strong. Take a really deep breath. <sighs> wow, that's so good. Now, if you have a sample vial, you'll need four taps to be one drop. But if you have the proper bottle, then obviously one drop is one drop. But with the peppermint, you're going to notice it opening the airways. That's a sign of a really good oil. It's really potent. You can really get an instant hit of goodness. Now, I love to just rub it on my head. It helps focus. It sends freshly oxygenated blood if I have any discomfort. And then the back of your neck is also a lovely place to rub the oils. And then have a little taste. Just rub your finger. It is delicious. I love this actually in hot chocolate or brownies. It's pretty nice. And you know, we use peppermint pretty much every day for all sorts of different things from mental clarity, focus, to discomfort, to digestion support, all different things. Now, the reason essential oils are so effective is because they're fat-based, you'll notice it dissolves really quickly. Within a matter of minutes, it's disappeared from your hands and it travels through into the bloodstream. And if you imagine this is a cell, it can actually penetrate through to the middle. So if we have any icky things going wrong, if you know what I mean, um, sometimes they're on the outside and we can go to the doctor and get some help. But if they're on the inside of a cell, then the um, medicines won't be able to reach it because they're water soluble. But the essential oils are fat based. And we have lots of essential oils that we know are antiviral, antifungal, antimicrobial. Oils such as oregano, melaleuca, which is tea tree, lemon, frankincense, lavender, peppermint, and our beautiful blend On Guard, which is brilliant for the immune system. These oils can all be used to help your wellness, either as a daily prevention, or if you were feeling really icky, um, you can use them a bit more aggressively, like repeat the doses a bit more often, drink the oils to get 100% of the goodness inside you, and see how it helps your cells to help themselves. It raises our body's ability to heal. That's how they work. So it's our bodies, our bodies do the healing. The essential oils are just like a catalyst and just a support network for them. So how do we use essential oils? So essential oils can be used three ways. We can use them topically, and we just did that, rubbing them onto our hands. You can dilute them with a carrier, and for children or anybody sensitive, I like to use fractionated coconut oil. Um, the other way we can use essential oils is aromatically. So if you have your orange, again, if you've got the sample vial, you'll need four little taps, but just take a drop, rub your hands together, and experience the aroma. <sighs> okay, this one's really nice. Different, different to peppermint. You should be able to tell that it's not quite as pungent. You don't quite get the same hit. You could probably happily keep your hands here for 30 seconds. <sighs> And just enjoy a moment of orange, oranginess hitting your limbic lobe, which really is a really cool thing and why it's so effective at boosting mood. So the limbic lobe has memory and it has emotional stores. And when we smell things, whether it's a comforting roast dinner or a familiar fragrance that a loved one wore, we are, we are kind of transported back to that time. And that memory is wrapped up in the emotions. Um, Another way to explain it is if I tell you right now, I'm gonna cut a slice of sharp lemon, and I'm gonna hand it to you through the camera, and you're gonna suck on the lemon 
and bite it with your teeth and suck the lemon juice, you should feel that you are salivating because the idea, just the thought of it, is creating a physical reaction. And so when we smell oils that are citrusy and uplifting, it actually physically changes brain chemistry to help secrete the correct hormones to have that correct response. So we can actually directly influence our mood and our emotion. So this is really, really powerful stuff. And that's why you want really good quality, pure, potent essential oils. Buy them from a wholesale account directly from doTERRA. These can be popped off and adulterated really easily online. So make sure you're getting it from source. And so there's one other way we use essential oils and that is internally. And it's not just safe with doTERRA, it's recommended. When we put them on our hands or massage them, only about 10% of the oil goes into our bloodstream. So it's actually a really sensible thing to do if you know you're using an oil for more of a, a deeper reason is to drink the oil. And we drink citrus oils for cleansing, we drink zengest oil for our tummy, we drink frankincense for cellular health and repair. And it's a really wonderful way to use the oils. So that's all about essential oils. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to try the oils, then get in touch with me and follow the links below and I'll get you a free sample and help you.